Well, good morning and happy Friday to you. Sorry, I was a couple of seconds behind schedule because I was actually on a call with an amazing woman that God just led across my path. You guys, I'm telling you, you know what? When you choose to be, uh, what's the word? A um, focused life style individual, then your focus, your passion, your energy will constantly attract to you the kind of people you need to um, to move forward. You know, I, I actually was having a moment. I, um, I had a moment a couple of days ago because I was feeling really stressed. You know, coming out of a divorce, you know, getting out of a divorce is one thing, but then after you come out, you feel like you got to start up. You got to start a whole lot. You got to fix crap and you need help. So stop tripping and thinking that you can do this stuff by yourself. There, none of us should be doing life alone. So that's it. That's my, my, my five seconds. But this morning, I am excited. I'm going to be talking this morning about our online class that we have. It's going to be six weeks. Now, for those of you who've been listening to me for any length of time, you are probably aware that we have been listening to... Um, the, a sort of a shift in the kind of focus that we have and when we start our planning. Now, I have always done my planning actually for many, many, many years. I didn't wait till January to do my life planning for the following year. I did my January and November. Well, this past year, I really started studying a little more with intentionality, the Hebrew calendar. And the Hebrew calendar actually starts around Rosh Hashanah, which was September 29th this year, uh, which was actually last weekend. Well, a part of understanding how the Hebrew calendar is recognizing that the Gregorian calendar, which is what we use January to December, well, the Hebrew calendar started in September with Rosh Hashanah. And the Hebrew has years just like we have years. So we've got 2019, 2020. Well, on the Hebrew calendar, this is the year starting the year um, 5980. We just came out of five seven seven nine okay now what does that all mean five seven seven nine has in the hebrew culture it has a perfect it has a symbol it has an uh, their their alphabet has an has a sound it has a symbol and it has a number well the number five seven seven nine correlates to the symbol that relates to sight or vision five seven eight oh has a symbol that correlates to the mouth. Now sight is visual and mouth or taste is experiential. So if you're looking at a prophetic timeline or a prophetic understanding of that, it means that we are shifting in culture or in a, in a, in a spiritual timeline from an era where we were as people in the kingdom were seeing a lot, but not necessarily experiencing. You could see where God wanted to take you, but it was hell to get there. Um, for me, it was a three a three year plus battle to get on this side of my future so that I can look towards what God is going to do with me, for me, and in me next. So I could see on the horizon what was coming, but it was really difficult getting there. So I didn't get to taste it. Well, what is happening now at this little crux of time in between the end of 5779 five, and the beginning of 5780 is there is a merging. And a really interesting symbol that indicates that merging is the numbers 5780 in and of itself. If you add those numbers, 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 0 is 20. <laughs> now, I think that's one of God's creative ways to say, hi, I've got a little secret I'm trying to show you. And if you'll pay attention, you'll get to know it too. Okay? So I believe that's one of God's little ways of saying, I want you to pay attention to the merging of your capacity to see what's coming and your capacity to taste and experience what is coming. Now, you can see see something and you can recognize it is coming but if you are not prepared you won't get the full crux of it 
And so what we're doing in the circle, in the Kayo circle, is starting next week, we're going to have six weeks of planning, training, um, where we're going to actually treat the next six weeks as if we are in January on our calendar. That's right, Catherine. Taste it, which is taste and experience in addition to seeing it. So what we're going so what are we going to be doing? So starting out next week we're going to be doing um next week's class. It's going to be a Zoom class. We've got we've got uh, a series of Zoom classes. We've got Facebook lives and we're actually going to do a night where we're going to have multiple groups around the country doing vision boards. I'm going to be hosting a vision board party at my house. We're going to have some people hosting vision board parties at their location. It is going to be so much fun. And so what we're doing is engaging people in the process now, what sparked all of this excitement and energy? Uh, I have been in a class for three weeks, uh, a major class with Ingrid Vandervelt, where she is taking us on, on a 13-week business expansion journey. And a part, of our, a part of our assignment was to do our own vision board. And I didn't realize, I mean, I've done vision boards in the past, but I didn't realize how much of a challenge it would be for me to crystallize what I was seeing. And I, and I feel like that what I experience is an indicator of what's happening for many others. So inside the circle for the next six weeks, we're going to be doing activities. We're going to be doing an activity uh, called... Um, to, uh, um, uh, praying it forward. How do you pray in a way that creates offensively as opposed to always being on the defensive with your prayers? Oh Lord, my child got sick. Oh, pray that my child get well. Oh Lord, you know my, my, my finance is in trouble. God help me get out of trouble. Oh Lord, this going on. Got to fix this problem. Oh Lord. How do you get out of that mindset and get into the realm where you create things that don't exist in the mental state and the spiritual and then bring that into your life so that you can and offset so as opposed to being in a position to pray to get well how do you pray in a way that allows you to walk in divine health ha that's good stuff there see ain't only so many people teaching that on Sunday morning so what we're gonna be doing in the circle is what we're gonna be doing in these classes is helping you understand that you get to as Patricia King one of my mentors she did a video years ago that changed my life it was called praying it forward well that video really talks about the process of moving offensively in a creative realm to define create and visually experience what you are anticipating from God that's what the vision board is all about it's not just about writing things it's about creating visual images that activate chemical responses in your body that activate release of uh, chemicals in your brain so that you then begin to function your brain begins to function at a higher frequency and as it functions at that higher frequency your brain is Minting energy at all times, baby. It's always emitting energy. Okay, so as it emits that energy, it then attracts into your space what you have been watching on that vision board. See, there's a process. This stuff doesn't happen by accident or mistake. We get to participate, and that's what God talks about when He says, "Pay attention to what happens in the imagination of the thoughts." It's all throughout scriptures. If you'll go in the go and look in your one of your little word looker uppers in your Bible, look up the words imagination and thoughts and see how often God in his descriptions and languages in scriptures parallels those two words together. Imaginations and thoughts. Because creation doesn't happen in the mind. Creation happens in the heart. That's where belief lives. You can imagine it with your thoughts, but until your thoughts and the images that you see around those thoughts mingle with the passions of the heart, it ain't happening. And that's one of the, that's one of the sessions that we're going to be doing. It's talk about how do you change your subconscious mind? What does it look like? What are the action steps that you can take so that you can, with intentionality, change the subconscious? You can do it. It's not impossible. It's doable. It's doable. There's a process. So we're going to be going. So all in all, there are six separate sessions. Okay. Now, to join any of these sessions, to be to take all six classes, this is a $297 value. Somebody put that up. It's $297. But for this week and next week, for this session, this series of classes, you can enroll for $99. 
$99 gets you all the classes or one. So you can start enrolling as at right now. It's already up. So you can go to my website. You can go to my Facebook page. You can go to my public figure page. Just go to my go to my LinkedIn page. All of them. You can sign up right now for ninety nine dollars. Now there are I think my Zoom will allow me a hundred slots, a hundred seats. I don't know how many are there now, but we just launched this yesterday. I know that it's gonna fill up. I sense it because I've been decreeing it. I've been visualizing it. I've been writing it down because I have good content. I don't know about anybody else. I've seen some of the stuff that other people do. My content is good. It's rich. It is powerful. So instead of you starting out this year, don't wait till January to do stuff. You get If you get, get to January, you're going to be behind. You're going to be in remedial planning, okay? So creating the life you want. Six powerful sessions that you get to participate in and then after we finish those success those six sessions about visual visualization about uh create uh taking um changing the subconscious mind um about identifying what you want this net's getting on my nerve identifying what you want um recognizing the habits that you need to change sometimes changing one habit can create enough force and energy in your life to shift everything else small changes small keys open big doors small keys open big doors so somebody post that little keys open big doors so it may be a little adjustment that you need to make that can open everything up and I really feel like that's true for my own life it's true for my own story with all that I've experienced over the past almost well really like 10 years okay because it, 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 the divorce was three plus years but the issue of it dying was longer than that so I look at that as the time for a while it felt like time that I lost but it really wasn't lost because nothing you go through is lost. God can use everything. I believe that my journey was bringing me to a place, a hill where I can look back and see all of the people who need to come this way. And I can stand on, now I can stand on the top of the hill and say, hey guys, hey guys, look over here. This is the way out. Come on, let me show you how to do it. I can show you the little keys that you need to, to, to put in there, put into place to open some big doors for you. So we're excited. We finished a class in September called Getting to 100K. How do you get your income to $100,000? Not that you, and this is particularly important for women who have struggled, who have not had the resource that they need, who don't know how they're going to, you know, how are you going to live 10 years from now? Well, one of the things that I'm building into the infrastructure of these classes is helping you create a visual snapshot of what your life can look like in five years and what your life can look like in 10 years and what your life can look like in 15 years as especially for those who are approaching retirement you don't have it doesn't you don't have to live in poverty when you retire you don't have to be broke you don't have to go get a job at Walmart to make sure you eat. You don't have to live your life in a way where you have to decide between paying for medication, which is a curse and a lie, and buying food. I feel like a lot of the medication people are paying for, they need to throw it away anyway, but that's just me, sidebar. So creating the life you want starts October 7th. It runs through November 14th. Six power packed session starting with visualization so you're gonna you're gonna well we're gonna start talking about your thoughts okay and then we think it say it write it do it creating the life that you want so october 10th is the first session it's each thursday night starting at eight most of these will be Zoom classes. Um, there will be several that will be Facebook Lives, and I will also be doing Facebook Live sessions. We're going to have some special speakers coming in with us who are gonna be participating. We'll have some financial wisdom from financial advisors that are gonna be participating. We're gonna have one of my besties talking about you need a tribe. How do you get to from A to B? A lot of times people don't move as fast as they should because they're trying to do it alone life is no fun alone you need a tribe you need a bestie you need a group you need to you need someone 
who will be there for you and you need someone who you need to be there for. You need someone that you can be training and coaching and bringing alongside and then you need someone up here a little higher who say, come on baby, you can reach up this to this next level. Come on, up, come on up to this next level. And as you move to the next level, moving to the next level economically, moving to the next level socially, moving to the next level emotionally. Some of us just need to get away from some of the rat pack we've been under. Get away from them. They're nasty. They're not helping you. People who are cussing you out, demeaning you, and putting you down don't need to be in your space. But how do you form a sense of worth where your soul no longer gives them permission to treat you that way or you no longer permit them to treat you that way? That's a part of soul expansion and you get to do that. We'll be talking about those kinds of things. So starting next week, our six week, week class, creating the life that you want. How do you think it, say it, write it, do it? How do you visualize it? How do you plan it? How do you write your goals down? And then how do you develop your action steps? All of that is easier when you're doing it in the company of like-minded people. So I want to say thank you guys so much for coming on today for my uh, informational my informational video about creating the life that you want. Now, how well, again, what's the cost of the class? It's $99 for all 6 weeks. This is a $297 value you're getting for $99. $99. That's a bargain and I probably won't ever do it. I don't even know why I don't even know why I did it at that rate other than the fact that this idea came to me on the dime, like fell into my head. And when it fell into my head, I felt this urgency to act on it, not only because I know I need this content, but if I need it and functioning at the level where I am, and I am a high functioning individual, if I need it, I know other people need it. Okay. So $99, go and enroll. Uh, someone messaged me earlier today and asked me if there was a payment plan. I, I love that. And if you, need, if you are one of those individuals who need help, I remember being on welfare. I remember when I was invited to sign up for a class with the USC, the University of Southern California Business Expansion Network. It was $250. You guys, that $250 might as well have been 2500 for me because of where I was. I understand that. I can relate to that. So if you are one of those people, message me. I got some things that I can, I can we can probably help you do that because I don't want anybody with the heart to make a change unwilling to do the necessary things to get there. I will help you because somebody was there for me. Okay, so we'll help you. So if, do we have a payment plan? Yeah, we'll work out something for you, but it's not a, it's not going to be wired in. There's no, you know, we'll work out. We'll work with you on an individual basis. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Creating the life that you want to live starting next Thursday, every Thursday night for the next six weeks. We are laying the foundation for our clarity, our year of clarity and manifestation, getting a 20, getting ready for 20, creating the paradigm for 2020 clarity as we enter 2020. Don't be left behind. Join us each week. Make sure you go to my website, StellaPayton.com. You can sign up. Um, you can sign up on my Facebook page. Uh, and I also will be posting this on Instagram. So you'll be able to sign up and get the information there as well. If you, none of those work, go to my website. Send me, you send me a message and say, Stella, I can't find it. Or go to Facebook page and say, Stella, I can't find it. And I'll make sure we get you a link. Thank you guys so much for listening today. And until next time, you make it a terrific day. Bye-bye.